Hey guys, what you're looking at is a thumbnail of my dynamic line wave effect. That video is linked down below if you want to make the cool lines in here with the mesh warp. But this video is going to be about the glow effect that I applied to the thumbnail. So if we look in here, we actually have two overlapping waves with a glow effect applied. Now, there's two ways you can apply the glow. And all I did was rotate what we created in that design and then apply the glow here for the thumbnail. But if I go back to what you'll create in that lesson, which is this dynamic wave effect with the lines and stuff, if we start here, so after you've watched that tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add two styles of glow. The one I did on the thumbnail is really easy, and all it is is an outer glow. So if we select our element here, and we go up to the effect drop down, and we go to stylize, we'll find outer glow. So we click on that, and we can select screen as the mode. We can change the color to whatever color we want. So if I wanted more of a orange glow, I could select that and hit OK. The opacity, we can change how much we can see this effect. And then the blur amount is where you really can dial in exactly what this effect looks like. So if we blur it out a little bit like this, maybe to 20 pixels, we have preview check marks so we can see it, but we're going to zoom in and really look at it. And we're going to hit OK. So now you can see before it was just solid, and then after we have a glow effect applied. Now this glow is the same color throughout. So no matter where the glow is happening, it's always that color that we select. If you want it to follow the gradient, so the glow will be more yellow down here, and a little bit more pink, and a little bit more red and orange in here, what you can do is actually do the same method I used in my neon glow tutorial, which is to make duplicates and to blur by creating a glow of the gradient. I'll show you what I mean. So. We have the layers panel open over here on the right hand side. We have the middle line wave and we have the lower right hand corner line wave. With the middle one, I'm going to copy it. That's Commander Control C. You can also go up to Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste in front. That's Command or Control F. What that does, if we look in the layers panel, is paste a layer right on top of the original. So this is the original middle line, and then this is the layer right on top. So we're going to select this guy. You can just do that by clicking on him out here. And we're going to put an effect on him. And that effect is going to be blur, Gaussian blur. And this blur, we can do different layers at different blur radiuses. So for the first one, we could do something around 2 and hit OK. Then we could Command C or Control C. Command F or Control F and paste another one on top. You see, we're just layering up these envelope distorts. With this one still selected, I'm going to go to Effect. Actually, no, we're going to go to Properties over here. And we still have the Gaussian Blur because we copied that one we just created and pasted it on top. So we can edit that effect right here in the Appearance panel. Instead of two, we could make this something like five and hit OK. Now I'm going to Command or Control C. Commander Control F, paste that one on top. And so you should still have that one selected. And we can edit this one from 5 to 15. And then we'll do this maybe one more time. Commander Control C, Commander Control F. And this guy on top will adjust him to 30, let's say. Now we have a much more dynamic glow effect applied. So if you were to zoom in here, you can see that this glow is a little bit more yellow. And if we move over here, we can see that it is more pinkish over here. So it follows the actual color of our elements, which is kind of a really nice way to add that effect. Now, if you're seeing a little bit of kind of distortion, graininess, pixelation, that's because up in the effect dropdown under Document Raster Effect Settings, this glow that we're applying is a raster effect. We need to change the resolution. The highest quality version will be 300 ppi. The lowest that you might be on right now is 72. That will allow you to work really quickly with your design, but when you actually export it and when, when you want to preview the real full resolution, 
click on that 300 and hit OK. Now it's going to redo all those effects. You'll see it's going to have a little loading screen here. So it's even going to do, I mean, in this case, I had a film grain in the background. It's got all these different blurs. Well, we put like four blurs on top, but it's going to be a lot more crisp when it's done. You can zoom out and kind of preview what that looks like. And so we could do the same thing down here and apply those same type of effects down there to that guy. That's how you can add a glow effect here in Adobe Illustrator.